Hi, I'm Scuba Sally, and I'm here to teach you the dangers of scuba diving. Dot, 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 dot. Do you know what scuba stands for? Scuba. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. There are some post-scuba conditions that a diver needs to be aware of before they attempt a deep underwater adventure. The first condition is called decompression sickness, also known as the bends. This is a good example of Henry's law, which states that the solution dissolves at the same rate as the pressures increase. This happens when a diver takes in too much nitrogen and moves from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure, too fast. The nitrogen tries to equalize quickly by bubbling up and can have the same effect as opening a soda can. Some mild symptoms of this are sore joints, ow, rashes, and chest pains. In severe conditions, this can be treated by a hyperbaric chamber. This chamber mimics the high to low pressure movement in a slower manner than the diver would have gone about it. To avoid the bends, keep hydrated, take steady breaths, and rest after diving. A second condition you can undergo is called air embolisms. These are a good example of Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law states that as pressure increases, volume decreases, and vice versa. In this case, if a diver ascends too fast, their lungs, which are already full of air, could potentially overinflate and release bubbles of oxygen into places in the body where they shouldn't be. Symptoms of air embolisms are sharp pains when coughing, <coughs> joint pain, Oof, ow. and difficulty breathing. <laughs> Treatments for air embolisms would, again, be treatment in a hyperbaric chamber. You can avoid air embolisms by being careful to take even breaths and ascend through the water slowly. The last condition is oxygen toxicity, or oxygen poisoning. Oxygen toxicity is a condition resulting from harmful effects of breathing molecular oxygen. It is a good demonstration of Dalton's Law. Dalton's Law shows that the pressure of a gas mixture is equal to the partial pressure of the gases that make up that mixture. While diving, if you breathe molecular air at elevated partial pressure, you can get oxygen poisoning. Some symptoms that may occur are nausea, Oh. Spasms. Oh. 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 Muscle twitching. And vomiting. <laughs> the best treatment is to avoid it in the first place because no cure has been discovered yet. Be <laughs> treated with a hyper. <laughs> oh, you're moving. Oh. You're shivering. Oxygen toxicity is a good demonstration of. <laughs>